Good afternoon, gang. It's a Friday. I hope you're feeling good. Hello to all my Mercy Medical Warriors out there and all my Facebook Nation peeps. I love you from all over the country, from Los Angeles to Columbus. I love it. Uh, I always think of you and pray for you. I hope you're doing well. Um, so what we're going to do today is our Friday circuits, okay? When I would work at Mercy Medical, we'd have our Friday uh, circuit session. We'd have 10 different exercises, right? And so, you know, I'd have the, the crew, you know, w warm up on their own. They'd get on a bike for five or 10 minutes or a treadmill and get their, you know, juices flowing. And then they'd come in and we'd do a 20 uh, second warm up with a 20 second rest. So 20 seconds of work, 20 seconds of rest for those 10 exercises. And that would be a nice little warm up. Okay. And we're going to do the same thing here. Okay. So here's the dealio. Uh, yesterday, I did two workouts. I did one with you at noon, and then I did another one with MMA Fit at East Coast, and we did that on a private, um, a private Facebook site. My, I have a, uh, a Wahoo uh, ticker, and what it does is it, it helps me with my heart rate, shows me how much, many calories I burned and everything, and I'll show you what my results are today after the workout, but um, specifically last night, I burned off about 350 calories doing the workout last night. And I didn't even count the one I did in the afternoon, which is around 200 with you guys, 200, 250. Pretty tough. Um, that is too much for me. I'm 56 years old, so when I took like a nine hour sleep, this, you know, and I woke up and I'm still feeling tired, rough around the edges, as they say, a little fuzzy. Um, that I have to watch, okay? And it's called overtraining. <laughs> and uh, a lot of people do it, chronic cardio, overtraining. People will work out like that. I know people who do a morning session of power yoga, and then at night, they'll do some sort of like uh, orange theory, fitness, uh, you know, high intensity stuff. And they'll do this like three or four or five times a week. Guys, that is brutal. I don't care if you're 25 years old or 55 years old. What you're doing to your body is you're overworking your body. And so what happens is you might be able to go through it and keep grinding these workouts out. Uh, but what happens inside your body is your immune system starts to suffer. Our immune system. Hello, virus. We're in a pandemic here. We got to be careful about that sort of behavior. So what did I do yesterday? I did two hard workouts. And so today I'm going to keep it easy. Okay. But you guys, if you're feeling good, you do what you need to do. Use your dumbbells or kettlebells. I'm, I always point in the back there because that's where my stash is. Today, I'm using soup cans. You're like, John, I don't have weights. Well, use some soup cans. I like Progresso soup. And, you know, we'll do, I'll do all the exercises with soup cans today so you can see. I need for you to get a towel, okay? We're going to do towel rows. Towel rows. So when you do your towel row, you're pushing and pulling, pushing and pulling. And the center should be right on your chest here, okay? You shouldn't be down here. You shouldn't be up here, right in your chest. That's where your middle part will be, and it'll rotate off of your chest kind of like as you push and pull, right? Okay, good. Uh, those really rate, rate your heart rate up. It makes your heart rate really, wow, through the roof. It's kind of like emulating battle ropes. And... That's about the best thing we have there. Okay, we'll do dumbbell squats. You know them, you love them. You can use dumbbells, kettlebells. You can use body weight if you don't have any uh, thing or, or soup cans, which I will do. Uh, Navy SEAL kicks. That's when we're on our back and we're flutter kicking. Legs are slightly bent and we'll do that. Uh, jumping jacks. We all know jumping jacks. Modify the jumping jacks so that you can do them. If they hurt your knees, you can step out and do them like this. You don't have to jump. Okay, uh, dumbbell half get ups. And you notice we have a half get up one side and then a half get up on the other side. So I like to start with my, we'll start with our right. You can use a dumbbell if you want. Make sure it's light, guys. Um, and, uh, or a soup can or nothing. Uh, the lunges with a dumbbell curl. Um, simple stuff. You do a lunge and a curl, right? <laughs> if you do not have anything, just do the curl with no weights. You can do that. Dumbbell kettlebell swings. Okay. You're like, John, I don't have any weight. How am I going to do a, a, a swing? You don't have to worry. You'll do a jump squat, a jump squat, nice and light. You're still doing a hip hinge. You're swinging your arms back and you're bringing them forward. Boom. Okay. 
uh, dumbbell floor presses. We're on our back and we're pressing. You can, if you don't have anything, just punch the air, okay? And mountain climbers or a plank. Again, your mountain climbers can be on a couch. They can be on a, a chair or they can be like big boy, big girl mountain climbers, okay? You can touch your knees with your elbows or your elbows to your knees or you can just go up in your chest. It all depends on what you want to do, okay? Good. All right, so we're going to start. We're going to go right into our warm-up, okay? So towel rows, towel rows. Here we go. Three, two, one. There we go. Let's go nice and easy. This is our warm-up round, guys. Warm-up round. Punch and pull, punch and pull, punch and pull, back and forth. Good. That's it. Just warming up those chest muscles, your shoulder muscles, your forearms, back and forth. Three, two, one, done. Good. You can put that down. We're going to do dumbbell squats. Uh, if you don't have dumbbells, use your soup cans. If you don't have that, just use regular body weight squats. Body weight. Okay. Shake it out. A little active rest. You can do some cross crawls in between if you want. In three, two, one. Nice and wide with your feet. That's it. Bring your butt back. Ooh, I am, I am feeling rough around there. Ooh, Johnny did a lot of squats yesterday. So nice and easy and breathe. Again, hold your weights right in front of you. A front squat. That's what these are. And done. Good. We're going to go to the floor, but you can do some cross crawls in between. Nice and easy, guys. This is just the warm-up round. So in 10 seconds, what we're going to do is we're going to get on our back, stick your hands underneath, and wave out your rear end. One leg up, one leg down, and begin. That's it. You can touch your heels on the ground if you want. If you don't, you can keep them up like this. There you go. Keep your head up if you can. If it doesn't hurt your neck, please do it. That connects your lower back to the ground. And time. Very good. Come on up. We're going to do some jumping jacks. I like to do my cross crawls. It just feels good. In five, four, three, two, one, begin. Jumping jacks. Try to clap your hands if you can. Again, this is warm up. Good, 10 seconds. Don't hurt yourself. I want everyone to have fun doing these workouts. Good, shake it out. Act like you've been there, right? Good, 15 seconds. We're gonna do half get ups, okay? So I'm gonna use my soup can as a weight. And when you do your half get ups, you make a big X, you bring your right knee up, right hand up, keep it straight, and you're going to lean on your elbow, roll on your shoulders. Lean on your elbow by rolling to the left on your shoulders. Good, that's all you're doing. That's all you're doing, good. Keep breathing, we're gonna stay in this position because we're gonna do the other side. So shake it out. Roll back and forth. Maybe do some windshield wiper with your knees. Good, makes your back feel good, right? So in 10 seconds, here's what I want you to do. Make an X, bring your left knee up, keep your left arm straight, get ready to roll on your right elbow. Keep that arm straight the whole time. Don't press, don't bring it down and bring it up. Keep it straight the whole time. Roll on your shoulders, guys. This is the beginning of a Turkish getup, and that's a wonderful exercise, and I want you to start learning it. Good, come on up. 20 second rest. We're gonna do lunges with curls, so I'll keep my, my soup can dumbbells in four, three, two, one. Sit, now alternate, other side. Good, that's it, that's all we're doing. Doing a little bit of everything here. Curl, whoo, nice. Five, four, three, two, 
one. Good, shake it out. It's not so bad, is it? Dumbbell, kettlebell swings. If you do not have swings, I'm gonna do a little body weight maneuver that you can see what I do for all the people who don't have weights, okay? You're going to lightly jump, just like this. You're gonna swing your arms. Begin. Swing your arms back with your butt, right? Don't do this. That, that doesn't do it. Swing back, that's it. Swing back and reach. Just a little jump, you don't have to do much. This is the hip hinge. Good time. Now we're gonna do dumbbell floor presses. Again, if you don't have any weights, I'm gonna show you how to do it without weights, okay? So, we're on our back. I like to cross my feet, keep my head down, then I bring it up when we begin. There we go. Boom. See? That's all I'm doing. Keep your head up. You're engaging your core when your head is up. If you have weights, great. Pump them out. Punch, punch, punch. Five, four, three, done. Good. Right back up again. Now we're gonna do mountain climbers. Again, you can do them against your couch and just bring your knees up gently. You can do them on the ground. You can do them against a chair or against the wall. Whatever you can do. Okay. Begin. That's it. So again, this is a warm up. So just be nice and easy. That's it. Keep breathing. Try to stack your arms so your joints are on top of each other with your arms. Don't lean back. Good. All right. Very good. Now we're nice and warm, guys. We're nice and warm. We can do our first of two, our first of two circuits. We're going to start off with a longer circuit first. It's going to be 45 seconds of work with 20 seconds of rest. Now, when you approach something that's kind of long like that, don't go hard into it, okay? Don't push yourself really hard out of the gate because <laughs> you're going to burn yourself out. So keep yourself smooth. 45 seconds is a long time to do these exercises. Now, when we do our 30 second with 15 second rest after this, that's when you can pick up your repetitions and go a little faster. Okay, but for now, go a little slower because your heart rate will go up. I'll tell you, mine's already at 110, just doing the warm up. Now, I'm 56 years old. My heart rate should be about 130 peak for my workouts. They go way beyond that. Okay, but that's what they recommend for keeping a good, solid heart. So, just a little tidbit of info there. Okay. Here we go, gang. We're going to start with 45 seconds. We're going to go through the whole 10 exercises. Three. I'm sorry. Don't worry about my countdown. Now it's three, two, one. Good. Push and pull. Good. Nice and easy. Don't strain yourself on this, but keep yourself upright in a good athletic position. Knees slightly bent, right? Good. Yeah, your arms will start to tire. Don't you worry about it. Yeah, I'm already at 120 beats per minute right now. So my heart is working. Your heart should be working too, in a good way. Your muscles are getting a nice feel. Yeah, it's not too strenuous. It feels good, but you are starting to tire. I like it. 10 seconds left. Good. Keep breathing. Four, three, two, one, done. Good. Dumbbell squats coming up. You have a 20 second rest. So you can do a little cross crawling. This is good for you. Cross crawling clears your nervous system and also helps you with your hemispheres and your brain. Okay, squats. You can do body weight squats, dumbbell squats, kettlebell goblet squats, or soup can squats. Good. Again, you're not going too fast because it's 45 seconds, man. You don't want to blow them out. Good. I want you to do the movements correctly. Get that butt back and down. That's it, 20 seconds left. Squeeze your glutes at the top. That'll protect your back. Keep your chest up. 
Don't bend your chest down. 10 seconds. Yeah, don't come down like this. Bring your butt back, chest up. Very good. Three and two and one. Excellent. Good. We're going to do Navy SEAL kicks next. Next, we're going to go on the ground, all right? Whew. Good. Here we go. On the ground. Wave out your rear end and begin. Try to keep your head up if you can. That presses your lower back onto the ground. This is a wonderful exercise for your hip flexors and for your lower abdominal muscles. Good, just keep breathing. That's it. Good work, everybody. Happy Saturday or happy Friday. Got our weekend ahead. And I know we can't go out and do a lot of things, but at least we have the weekend and that's good. You still got to have that weekend mentality, guys. Just because we have this virus going around, don't let that defeat you too. Come on now. Positive. Four, three, two, and one. Fantastic. Back up on your feet. We're going to do some jumping jacks, okay? Shake it out. Good. I'm at 150 beats per minute. This is beautiful. Three, two, one. I'm where I need to be. That's it. Try to clap if you can. Here's some modifications. Stepping out, doing the Broadway jumping jacks, right? <laughs> That's easy on your knees. You can also just keep your feet on the ground, but bring your hips or your heels up as you do it. See? That, that's no strain on the knees or just walk it and march, okay? Different ways you can do it because I know that pounds your knees and it's not very good feeling. 10 seconds left. Good. Thanks for joining me today. I feel like Jack LaLanne. <laughs> Three, two, one. Good. By the way, I grew up with Jack LaLanne. Woo, half get ups now, guys. Half get ups. I'm going to use my soup can. Yeah, I'm that old. Okay, so your right knee is up, your right arm is up. You're going to lean on your left elbow. Begin. Just start pushing up. Yep, when I was four or five years old, actually, no, I was old, younger. I was about three. And I was with my mom. You know, she's doing the laundry. And I was driving her crazy. She says, why don't you go upstairs and watch Jack on television? And I really only cared about Jack Lane because he had that German Shepherd. I'm like, he's got a dog. Oh, cool. <laughs> so I do jumping jacks with Jack. And that was my first introduction to exercise. Go figure. Good old Jack LaLanne. And he lived to be, what, 96? Fantastic. Good. And time. Good. You can do some windshield wiper with your knees back and forth for about 15, 20 seconds. Good. That's it. All right, get ready. Let's do the other side. Left knee up left arm straight and lean now roll on your shoulders roll on your shoulders don't do a sit-up don't come up like this go to the side and roll onto your elbow that means your elbow has to be a little bit away from your body it can't be over here because you'll just roll to your shoulder that's not what you want to do you want to roll up to your elbow there you go good 20 seconds Exhale, coming up. Inhale, going down. S up, down. Don't forget to breathe, everybody. Good. That's it. Pushing that soup can up. John, you're really creating an amazing resistance right there with 12 ounces. No, 19 ounces. Okay, back up. We're going to do our lunges with our dumb dumbbell curls. All right. Three, two, one, begin. That's it, alternate. If you wanna go backwards, you can alternate. That's a good modification. If you wanna go backwards, you can do that too. Any way that feels good on your knees. I don't wanna hurt your knees, right? No pain, all gain. Good, 25 seconds, guys. That's it. Now my heart rate was up to about 150 there. Now it's down to about 120. So those Turkish get-ups were kind of mellow for me. Uh-huh. So 
sometimes your exercises aren't so ballistic and, and they don't really raise your heart rate up. That's okay because you want to persevere through it and work good. You still want the benefits. I'm going to do some dumbbell or sorry, soup can swings. So you can do some soup can swings with me. Bring your feet together a little bit. Good. Three, two, one. Swing the soup cans back. There it is. Boom. Squeeze the butt right at the top, right here. Good. Squeeze that butt. If your husband walks in and some guy's saying squeeze the butt, he's like, what is going on in that living room? And then he'll walk away going, I don't want to know. <laughs> Good. That's it. 20 seconds. Simple movements, guys. This is a hip hinge. Bringing your hips back and squeezing. Stick that butt back. Keep your spine straight. Three, two, one. Good. Dumbbell floor presses, okay? So I'm gonna do it without any soup cans. For the people who don't have any equipment, I like to lock my legs, keep my head up. All right, you're punching. Punch. Bring your elbows down now. Bring your elbows down to the ground and punch, 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 punch. That's it. One goes up, one goes down, one goes up, one goes down. Boom, 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 boom. Yeah, your neck's starting to hurt, right? Well, that's a neck exercise. Keeping your neck strong. Good, 20 seconds, you've got this. This is actually a guard attack. We call them guard attacks. So what happens is I'm wrapping someone's body around me and they're trying to punch me while I'm punching them. If you ever watch MMA, you know, MMA, mixed martial arts, they'll get in a closed guard position like that all the time. So, all right guys, mountain climbers or planks, okay? In three, two, one, begin. That's it. Good. Again, you can do these against a couch. You can do them against a chair. I pull my exercises from a variety of places, but you can't beat the mountain climber. It's one of the best exercises you can do because it works your core. It works your legs. It's a cardio event as well. You gotta love that. Good. I've got a nice sweat going on here and I'm going light. Good, 10 more seconds. Gonna be done with the second round of your Friday circuits. Time. Good work, everybody. So take about a 30 second break. Do some cross crawls. Get your breath back. Good work. Now, our final circuit is gonna be the one where you, you start to go a little faster, okay? So you go for 30 seconds of intensity with a 15 second rest. Now the way I raise people's heart rate up is by bringing down the rest time. If your rest time is, let's say you're doing 20 20s, that's a one to one work ratio to rest ratio. That's pretty cool and that's good for you. But if you start to pull away from that rest and you go 2015 or 2010, you know what 2010 timing segment is a Tabata. And wow, now you're really, really up in your heart rate, okay? So that's how I manipulate you guys so that you can do these things and get your heart strong. It's not a secret, it's out there. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go backwards. Instead of starting at number one with towel rows, you're gonna start with mountain climbers and we're gonna go backwards. Okay, so follow along if you don't know, if you don't have the, uh, the placard out to see what it is, okay? Good, we're going backwards, just for giggles, all right? Four, three, mountain climbers. Two, one, mountain climbers. 30 seconds, pump them out as fast as you can. Good, good. 
The good thing about a 3015 is it's a little quicker than the 4520. <laughs> That's it. Good. 15 seconds. 10 seconds. Keep going. Keep going. Good. Good. Five, four, three, two, one. Very good. 15 second rest. Excellent. We're doing dumbbell floor presses. I'm going to grab my soup cans. All right. We're going to be on our back. Okay. Go as fast as you can with your punches. Begin. Good. Keep that head up if you can. 15 seconds. Good. Back and forth. Full extension of the arms. Don't go halfway. Keep going. In five, four, three, two, one. Very good. What exercise instructor had you do those? Not many. Kettlebell, dumbbell swings, or jump squats. I'll do jump squats so you can see what they look like if you don't have equipment. Begin. You don't have to go so high. You can just go to your toes if you want, okay? You don't have to jump if you don't want to. But bring your arms back with your rear end. Don't go the opposite way. Good. This will raise your heart rate up. It's a hip hinge. Pop it. Pop it. 10 seconds. Good. In five, four, three, two, one. Very good. All right. Now we're doing our lunges with your curls. You can use dumbbells, kettlebells. If you do not have them, don't worry about it. Just do your curl anyway. Three, two, one. Good. Sit. So we're working our bottom and our top. Good. If you, I'm talking to you in short sentences. That's where I want to be. That's good for my heart. That's the talk test. If you can talk to your friend while you're working out just like this. Whew, woo, that means you're in, you're in your zone. We're going to do our half get-ups now, guys. Half get-ups. Make an X. Bring your right knee up, right arm up. Roll onto your left. Get ready, begin. Pump them out. You can go a little faster now that you know how to do these. Don't do a sit up, roll to the side onto your elbow. 15 seconds. Go a little faster, you're warm now, you're feeling good. Keep the arms straight. Five, four, three, two, one. Very good. Other side now. Open up your legs, please. Left knee up. Left arm straight. You're going to roll over to your right elbow. Keep your elbow and your arm parallel to your right leg. That's it. Start pumping. Start thumping. Lean on that elbow. Press that elbow into the ground as you reach up with your soup can. Yes, you're offering the soup can to the gods. Please take my Progresso butternut squash soup. Zeus, Zeus loves it. He takes it. He wants chicken noodle next time though. <laughs> roll, roll time. I'm getting delirious now. All right, jumping jacks. Don't need any equipment for that. Good. Three, two, one. Begin. That's it. Go a little faster now. Spread out your legs a little more. Now you're feeling it. Good. 20 seconds left. It's like boot camp. Yes. 10 seconds. I always hated that name, boot camp. Four, three, two, one. Good. No one wore boots in my camp. All right. Navy SEAL kicks. Again, they're just flutter kicks. 
Bring your hands underneath and wave out your rear end, palms down. One knee up, one, knee, one leg up, one, knee, one leg down. And begin. That's it. Good. You can bend your knees a little bit. Try to keep your head up. Good. Knock them out a little faster. You're swimming above ground. Good. 15 seconds. 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, and one to grow on. Good. Woo! Dumbbell squats, guys. If you don't have dumbbells or kettlebells or soup cans, just use body weight squats and do them a little faster. Okay, we're almost done. Two more exercises and begin. Knock them out. Good. Get that butt back. Sit down on your chair from behind, right? Keep the chest up. This is good for shoulder or hip mobility. Bring those hips down. The lower you get your butt, the better hip mobility you have. Good. 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Very good. Grab your towel. Last exercise of the day, guys. Great job for Friday. Wonderful work. Five, four, three, two, one. Yeah, pump them out fast as you can. That's it, that's it. Push and pull, push and pull. Good. 20 seconds, that's it, burn it out. Good. 15, 10 seconds, yeah. Last 10, got the weekend coming up here. Good. In five, four, three, two, one. Woo! Oh, my heart rate went up to 146. 147. All right. Good. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you what I got here. So I burned about 120 calories in that workout. Uh, my average heart rate was 112 and my max was 154. Now you have to understand, you're like, oh, that's only 120 calories. Well, that's me. I have a different meta metabolic system than you do, right? If you're just beginning, you should be a lot higher. I'm so used to these workouts. That was kind of a light workout for me. It was actually kind of fun. So <laughs> you're like, really? And it might have been fun for you too, because I was using light weights. See, if I had heavier weights and I was pushing myself, I could just double that uh, calorie uh, energy burning, okay? But the real important thing is, where was my heart rate? My average heart rate was about 112 beats per minute. That's fantastic. That is good for you, okay? bringing your heart rate up to 154, then going back down again, going back up again. Your heart loves that. Your cardiovascular sister lo system loves that. So that's the important thing that you need to know. It's not all about burning calories. It's about what you're doing to your respiratory system. Because right now, because of our pandemic, you need to have a strong respiratory system. Because unfortunately, if you do get the virus, that's what it's gonna hit the most. And if you're strong, you'll get through it, right? I know I don't want to speak like that, but worst case scenario, this is what you're training for. Okay, we're not training for the Olympics. Uh, you know, a lot of those times are gone. You might be doing 5Ks, that's wonderful. You might be doing some races, Tough Mudder, that kind of stuff. But really, in a sense, you're training for life. And life has a lot of stressors. And one of them is viruses that are out there. Okay, so this is for overall general health, guys. Don't overtrain. Don't do too much. Less is more. And if you do it for five days a week and use those two extra days, Saturday, Sunday, to walk, to enjoy nature, to de-stress, to learn meditation maybe, uh, to do a little bit of stretching yoga and breathing yoga with pranayama, bingo. Now you got a great uh, weekly habit of exercise, okay? So let's breathe in. And then exhale. Two seconds in through the nose. 
five second exhale. Breathe in. One more. Breathe in. Full body stretch. Breathe in. Reach up and bend your knees and touch the ground right back up again. Inhale. Exhale. Touch your fingertips. Inhale. Reach back a little bit. Reach back. Bend yourself a little bit. Good. Bend the knees coming down right back up. Good. Now, I want your hands on your knees. I want you to stick out your butt. Is your spine straight? Good. Bring your feet about a foot like this. Okay? Now, from here, I want you to lower your chest to your thighs. Relax your head. Good. Now from here, wrap your arms around your knees. Start to slowly raise your tailbone, straightening your legs while you're bringing your head, the top of your head, down to the ground. That's it. Keep your heels on the ground if you can. Keep breathing through your nose. Five, four, three, two, one. Walk your hands to your knees. Bring yourself back up into that safe position again. Straight spine. Move your neck back and forth. Good. And up and down. Now, open up your legs. Okay? Once you bring your toes in a little bit. Bend your knees. Do the same thing. Put your chest on your thighs. Put your hands on the ground if you need to. Now from here, bring your crown of your head down to the mat as you straighten your legs. If you want to grab your ankles and you can do that, great, do it. But don't pull yourself through your legs. Pull yourself down to the ground. You're straightening your spine in this position. That's the proper stretch. Bending in and through your legs doesn't do crap. It actually hurts your spine right now. You want to straighten your spine while you work on your hamstrings. Okay, bring yourself back up. You're in your safe position again. Look back and forth. Now the blood rushing into your head is very good. You need that. Being standing on your head, for instance, it's very good for you. Another thing is, when you bend over, uh, you lower your blood pressure. Another cool thing is, when you bend over, your internal organs separate themselves and they pull down towards your head. That feels good for your stomach and your bladder and your pancreas and all these uh, different organs in here because they rarely are always being compacted by gravity. I don't know if you knew that or not, but yeah, there you go. I know it's a bunch of yoga BS, but <laughs> you're like, John, eh, I still, not, I still don't like yoga. Okay, so from here, <laughs> uh, like, you know, I know, I know who calls calls me out on my yoga, my Mercy Med Warriors. So bring your hips down, right? Bring your hips down. Feel how your hips are just dragging down. Oh, you're starting to feel it now, right? You gotta have that uh, left knee, or if you're on the other side, the right knee back. Now from here, I want you to put your hand, your left hand here and your right hand. So you put your foot in the middle and straighten your spine and lower your hips and breathe through this. Good. So straighten your spine. Don't bend your spine. Keep it straight. Look up and straight through. Now, whichever hand you have, I have my left hand. You might have your right hand next to your left foot. I have my left foot, left hand next to my right foot. I want you to open up. This is my right hand, but you might be opening up with your left. This is a cross crawl, guys. Look at that cross crawl. Three, two, one. Now, if you can, Bring yourself back. You're on your knees. There's a nice hamstring stretch. Try not to sit down on your heels in this position. Remain up. Three, two, one. Good. Bring yourself back into a child's pose. You can be either open kneed or closed kneed. It doesn't matter. Reset yourself, guys. Keep doing your child's pose. I'm going to talk. Your child's pose, your forehead should be between your arms. Your arms should be off the ground. Your elbow should be off the ground. You should be slowly spider inching your fingers toward the front wall while your hips are sitting back toward the back wall. And you're stretching yourself. It's kind of like an angry child pose. Three, two, one. Bring yourself up. Now, 
If you did the right side, do the left. If you did the left side, do the right. My left foot is up. I'm going to bring my right knee back. Okay. Now from here, lower the hips. Straighten your spine. Right hand next to your left. And put your foot in the center. Now look straight ahead and lower your hips. Oh, this is a tough one. You can even start inching back your right knee if you want. But lower the hips down. It is super tight. Oh, my goodness. Mm, five, four, three, two, one. Very good. Now, I'm going to have my right hand here. And I'm going to open up my left into my leg here. Open up my chest into my outstretched leg. Keep reaching up. Oh, my tight on this side. Five, four, three, two, one. Very good. Bring yourself back. Straighten your knee if you can. And there you go. There's your hamstring stretch. Try to flex your toes. The more you flex your toes up to the ceiling, oh, the more of that deep calf stretch and hamstring stretch that happens on the behind of your leg there. Three, two, one. Good. Guys, great job today. Real proud of you. Wonderful Friday workout. Again, this Saturday, tomorrow, uh, do a little yoga if you can. Go online. Uh, there's a bunch of great things. I have yoga classes. You can go back to my yoga class if you want and do that. Uh, on Sunday, take a nice long walk, even if it's raining. Listen, you need to go outside. I know it's the virus and everything like that. Take your precautions, mask, whatever you feel comfortable with. Uh, stay away, you know, six feet away from people and just go for it. Just walk. Get some sunshine. You'll get sunshine even if it's a cloudy day. Um, you need some UV rays. You can't sit in the house all the time, all right? Uh, it's good for your mental, <laughs> your brain. And if you can, walk through a bunch of trees, a bunch of bushes, a bunch of nature. Get, a, get off the street. If you can go to a park where there's uh, living things instead of just pavement, that's even better for you. Uh, getting back to that nature is really the next step. And use Sunday for that. Bring the kids. You know, whatever it is, make it a family event, okay? Uh, but please do it, okay? I love you. I pray for you every day, Mercy Medical Warriors. Thank you so much for what you're doing, all of you guys, okay? We will see you on Monday. Have a great weekend.